This video is going to cover the video library. How do we add new posts with, with new videos to the members area? And I'm talking about this area right here. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is go to the admin section. We want to find videos. Okay, and the first thing I want to point out is categories. You can create categories two different ways. And by category, I'm referring to this power script or object orientation or whatever. These little tags right here. We can do that two ways. You can actually just go to videos categories and create one. So right here I can just do new category. I don't need to fill out anything else. That's all I need to do. New category, add it. Okay, now we can see here it is. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy. Or when we're making a video, we choose a category, uh, excuse me, create a category while we're making a new post or a new section. Okay, so I have these three right here. I'm going to go ahead and click New Video. I'm just going to call this one Power, what did you call that thing, Script, I think. All right, and then what we want to do is um, do our excerpt. And by excerpt, I mean this little bit of block of text right here. So let me just copy this gibberish. Then what I want to do is a Read More. Basically, a Read More creates... Um, so basically, it doesn't show the video. If I don't know a read more, the video is going to show up on this. We don't want it to do that. We want to have an excerpt of text. They have to click it to see the full video, right? So, inserting the read more, which we find right here, takes care of that. Then I want to enter down. Hit my here's my my mouser, my mouser, my cursor, and insert the video. Now I'm hoping you're going to use YouTube. I suggest you use YouTube because it's universal, it's easy to use, it's free, they can store all your videos for you, you don't have to worry about having extra uh, server space for it, um, and they just they do a lot of the, the, the work for you. So basically what you want to do, assuming you've, you have a YouTube account, assuming you've uploaded your video to, um, to their server, you would find the video, okay, then we want to click share on the video, embed, and then this is the code, we want this in what's called an embed code, we can see our size. It'll be listed out now. It's going to be different. These aren't going to be exact numbers. You'll see it says 420 and 480, 640, etc. That's all dependent on the size of the video that the person uploads. So choose the video that, that best works for you. I think we're using a 640, I believe. Cop so copy this once I have my 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 uh, proper sizing, and then I want to click the insert edit embedded media icon and then I want to do source and then paste in that embed code insert make sure I have my um, category selected add a new one if I need to let's publish this let's go ahead and refresh there we are, there's a new one And there's our video. Okay, now um, you're not seeing this video because basically it's protected. Some videos you can just do a script and it's protected, so don't freak out when you're like, oh, it's not working, it's not playing. Some videos on YouTube they block, and it's not YouTube. It's it's the person, it's the user. They have the option of, of blocking uh, people from embedding their videos. So you know you're okay. Don't worry about that. So that's how we how we add videos now. Um, really easy, pretty pretty simple. I want to cover something that uh, I mentioned in another video, another tutorial. I went over the short codes, it was a short codes tutorial, and I covered um, these right here, these buttons, inserting a button with a pop-up box that shows, hmm, YouTube must be having a problem on their server. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on one sec, hold that thought. Alright, something was going on with uh, on uh, YouTube then. You can see the video work. So um, they're having some problems doing today, this morning during these videos. So just, I'm not sure they're making some kind of updates or anything, but um, you should be you should be fine. Let's go ahead and and so anyways, if if let me can continue. I kind of lost my train of thought going over that. Um, I did a video on short codes, and I mentioned in the video in this pop up box that I wasn't too happy with how we were inserting the code to show this video 
and that I possibly, possibly may change that to make it easier on you. Um, I've done so, so I've changed that, and I want to touch base on how to do this. Um, that way you know how that works in case you need to insert these or update these, these videos on this page or, you know, or, or create them for an, uh, another section. All right, so um, how do we take care of this? Well, let's, let's go and do a test. Let's do Add New. Okay, so let's see, video, if I can spell. Let's see, videos here, can't think of a better uh, title. Um, what I want to do is basically click this little shortcut icon for video button and insert, insert just the embed code, or excuse me, the uh, ID code. And the ID code we find on YouTube, which is this little number here, this little alphabetic, whatever, alphanumeric uh, section. Um, you can find it there. You can also find it here. But, but every single video, no matter what I touch or whatever I select, it's going to have this ID. So I select that ID. Come back in here. Click this button. And then what I want to do is paste it right at the end. That's it. So button. Publish. Let's check it to make sure I am not too crazy. Button. Video. Alright, hope that makes sense and that will do it.